Hello and welcome to the Emergence Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at getting quick started with Emergence. This tutorial will cover the basics of how to get the plugin into a project, how to get the EVM server set up, and how to get personas working amongst other things. If you don't know what Emergence is, we have a video on what is Emergence, which will be in a card now and in the video description. So to get started, let's have a look at our documentation. You can find the documentation at docs.openmetadao.com. We're going to have that linked in the video description. Once you go there, under the category Game Engines, you'll see Unreal. And that's going to tell us everything we need to know about this version of the SDK. If you click on Getting Started and follow it through, you will see the exact process which I'm going to show you in this video. As of the time of recording, the Unreal version of the Emergence SDK is available for version 4.26, 4.27 and Unreal Engine 5, but we will likely support any future versions as they come out. If you don't have one of those versions downloaded, you should probably download it now, as we'll be using it in this tutorial. I'm going to be building in 4.26, so if you want your screen to look exactly like my screen, then make sure to get 4.26. However, if you do get 4.27 or prefer 5, it just might look slightly different. You will also need Visual Studio 2019 or later. Additionally, an example of this can be found in the Emergent Sample project. We have a separate video on the Emergent Sample project, which you'll find in a card now or in the video description. You can find the sample project on our releases section at github.com forward slash crucible networks ltd forward slash emergence sdk unreal. Go to our releases section and then go to unreal sample project.zip and download it. As I said, everything I explained today is available in the sample project. But today I'm going to be walking you through it as a step-by-step -step process explaining how the system works so that you can adapt it to your needs. For this tutorial we need a game to put the plugin into and to integrate it with. For this I'm going to use Unreal's third-person game example. It's also worth mentioning if you are following along at home then make sure when you install Unreal Engine to also install the templates and feature packs. We're going to be using one of the examples that comes with the templates and feature packs as the basis for the game of our example project. If you've already installed it in the launcher next to this launch button, there's a little drop down. You press options and you can tick templates and feature packs, press apply, and it will download the templates and feature packs for you. Now, when you open up Unreal Engine, you should see the select or create new project window. If you select the new project category games, then press next, you should get the option to create third person. And if you press next again, you can decide where you want to put it. I would personally choose to create a C++ project, even if you don't have C++ experience or knowledge, it does allow you to debug the project a little easier, I find, and it doesn't prevent you from using blueprints. Then you can select a location for it to be stored in, a name for the project, and press create project. Next, you should go to our GitHub. The GitHub can be found in the documentation um, if you only want to remember one URL. However, to go directly to it, go to github.com forward slash crucible networks ltd forward slash emergence sdk unreal. We'll have that linked in the video description. From here, click on releases, then on the first release marked latest, which should be the one at the top, click source code zip. This zip contains the emergence plugin for Unreal. Download this and inside you will find two folders, emergence and emergence VRM support. These are both Unreal plugins. You will also find readme.md but you don't need that. So now I'm going to start adding emergence to uh, the example project. So I'm going to create a new folder, plugins, and I'm going to extract it to this folder. So, like this. So I'm using um, WinRAR here. Uh, so now it should show, uh, so you've got your, your folder here with your huge project. And inside there you've got plugins. And inside there you've got Emergence and you've got Emergence VRM support. So now when you start this up, it's going to give you a box asking if you want to build them and you want to say yes. 
And this should build without any issues. And now it should launch. So now let's start integrating emergence with this project. The overlay system is what will allow your users to connect their wallets using a QR code to talk to any wallet that has the wallet connect functionality built into it, like MetaMask, and allow them to connect their wallets to your game. First things first, you need to decide where you want to put this code. Just for simplicity right now, I'm going to put it straight into the player character, but you may choose to put it in the player controller or some other, in a UI element or somewhere else. So I'm going to click Open Full Blueprint Editor. So now we're inside of third person character. What you're going to need to do is first, let's just delete these. We don't need these. Secondly, we need to create an event which we can use to open the overlay. For this, we're going to use a key press. So I'm going to use key press Z. Uh, then we need to get the emergent service. Uh, which is a, a singleton, which we use for a lot of uh, fairly base level uh, interactions with emergence. We need to do uh, open emergence UI, and this uh, requires a player controller. Uh, so just get the player controller of the character by doing player controller, get player controller. Um, this will get um, the player controller of player index zero, obviously a single player game, so you're always going to be player index zero. And also remember to set your emergence UI class to emergence UI BP. When we run this, it should allow us to press Z and it opens the overlay. And so the, um, the overlay here is going to show like the, the, the first time explanation of what it does. We can press space to uh, continue. And then it's going to give me a uh, wallet connect code. Something I would recommend actually is uh, when you're doing the wallet connect, you may want to just make your viewport slightly larger because sometimes phones, um, depending on your screen size and your phone's camera quality, sometimes the, uh, the QR code can be a little bit hard to scan otherwise. So if you scan that, it's going to take you into the UI and you can see your personas. So I actually already have two personas. So I think we should talk about what personas are. We sort of think of them as a interchangeable identity for the metaverse. So in emergence, one Wallet can have multiple personas. You can read more about them in our documentation. So one of the great things about personas is that they provide interoperability across game worlds. If a user has previously made a persona in, in a different game, they can then make use of that persona in any other game that uses emergence. The persona's data is associated with the user's wallet address. They have a name, they have a bio, and they have avatars associated with them, which work through our EAS. The EAS is our Emergence Avatar System. We're going to have a separate video talking about the EAS linked in the video's description. When you open yours, it will probably look like this. Uh, this is the screen that you will see when the wallet doesn't have any personas associated with it. So you can either click the small plus button or the big plus button to create your first persona. So I actually have a avatar associated with my wallet, but you, you will probably only have default from emergence. So I'm going to select that. You can set a name for it. So I'm going to call mine Zafrox and you can add a bio. Hello world. If you press create persona, you'll create a persona and then that will be associated with your account. Um, ways you could make use of avatars in your games include uh, you can effectively use it as a way to create human readable username for your users because otherwise you'll only have access to 
wallet address, which may not be particularly nice to read. Uh, you can obviously use the avatar, the VRM avatars as um, avatars in the game world. Um, in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that avatars will be loaded in in real time into your project if you want to do that. But we're keeping it simple here today. The other thing you may have noticed is that in the top right, you can see the amount of currency in this account. Currently, it's set to the Polygon network, so it's showing me how much Matic I have. However, you can change this uh, to any EVM compatible blockchain. So click stop, go to project settings, scroll down to plugins, emergence, and then you can see the settings. And now at this point you have Wallet Connect and Persona set up. Any user can now connect their wallet, set up a persona and load it in your game. Next up we'll be diving into how to set up a VRM avatar so users can load their emergence enabled avatars into your game world.